Hello and welcome. We're going to squeeze in a short lesson on multiplying monomials just to make sure we're comfortable with this part before we consider multiplying more complex polynomials. With addition and simplifying terms, we learn that we can only combine terms if the variable parts are the same. In this example, 2xy plus 4xy, we can combine these two terms by simply adding the coefficients xy remains as the variable part. We just have more of them. What about when we multiply the same two terms? By showing the same parts of the terms grouped together, we quickly see the result of our multiplication. We see the product of the coefficients, 8, and note that we have a new value for the variable part, which has become x squared, y squared. Remember that when we try to add two terms with differing variable parts, it is like we're trying to add apples and oranges. So we can't add or simplify these two terms. But there's nothing to stop us from multiplying them. And we end up with 9, x to the fifth. So, with multiplication, we are not limited to finding like terms to simplify our expressions. One of the ways we get good at simplifying our math work is to make sure we are comfortable with our rules. Two common math rules are applicable for multiplying monomials. Obey the signs for multiplication. And common bases allow us to simply add exponent values. Here are two monomials being multiplied. The coefficients have a single negative sign, giving us negative 5 and the 4 plus 2 leaves us with y to the 6th. Two slightly more complex monomials can be tackled in a similar way. Negative 3 times negative 2 gives us positive 6. x to the first power times x squared is x to the 1 plus 2, or x cubed. And 3 plus 1 gives us y to the 4th. And we have z to the 6th power. Our goal in math is often to simplify expressions, which becomes much easier for us if we're comfortable with common math rules. You could continue the same strategies to a question that had many monomials. Rewrite the expression so you don't lose any parts, grouping coefficients and bases. Two negatives gives us a coefficient of positive 10, and we have x to the fifth and y to the sixth. So, by exercising some math rules you've learned in the past, you can quickly simplify some challenging looking expressions. In the next episode, we'll explore multiplying with more complex polynomials.